Welcome back to the now. Well, an Indianapolis bartender robbed at gunpoint by a man she says came in with a detailed list of what he wanted. It's part of what we're finding to be a growing trend across the city. The now is Mike Pelton joining us live outside the sports bench bar on the east side. Mike. Well, the bartender here shared her story with me today. She tells me she thought she was going to die when she turned around and found someone pointing a gun in her face. This happened here at the Sports Bench Bar along the 2000 block of Southeastern Avenue. The bartender tells me a handful of customers were inside last night when a man came in and waved a gun around and even pointed it directly at her. She complied with his demands, which she tells me equated to a shopping list full of items that she feared the man was willing to commit murder to get. We agreed to hide the woman's identity as she shared her story. With us today. Lottery tickets, Hennessy, I mean, all the money. Yeah, I mean, the only thing kept going through my head was my kids, my kids, my kids, my kids. I couldn't imagine waking up or my kids having to wake up without me here. Now, IMPD does not have any suspects in the overnight robbery, but we looked into the numbers and found restaurant robberies happen often. We found 51 IMPD robbery reports at restaurants this year spread across the city and many including armed robbers. The reports include everything from fast food joints to bars. During the same time period in 2015, we found only 10 IMPD reports. We are working to figure out why there's an apparent increase in these robberies. Now, today we reached out to the Indiana Restaurant and Lodging Association who provided this crime prevention and tip sheet they hand out to their members, although they declined to comment for our story today. We're live tonight on the east side, Mike Pelton, RTV6.